Act all the tension like ladies and gents When I mention my name at the door And I hope you'll pardon me See by my card I am finding a world we may explore You're in the dream I have drawn You're like the wings for my song I get a lift with your gift To know right from the wrong Really strong Our imagination will find this occasion To go where we know we belong It was Harold's bedtime. Harold closed his eyes. But they didn't seem to want to stay shut. Harold could hear the grown-ups talking and laughing downstairs. It wasn't fair, Harold thought, that grown-ups could stay up late and he couldn't. Grown-ups were free to do whatever they wanted, to go wherever they wanted, and be whatever they wanted to be. Harold wondered what it would be like to be a grown-up. He looked at his clock, willing the time to go by faster. But the hands barely moved at all. Growing up sure takes a lot of time, Harold thought. (gasps) So Harold decided to give himself more time. time had passed, Harold figured he must be all grown up. Harold suddenly felt very free, free to do and be and go wherever he wanted. Harold had always loved trains. And now that he was a grown-up, Harold could be the engineer. Harold could be in charge. Chugging down the train track, tug on that chain I don't have time to explain This is no time to look back I am in charge of this train Cold for the hopper, no time to stop I am your new engineer I have a schedule right here Very soon, what is there will be Through a tunnel of dreams There's a wide world of waiting 
on you. All aboard, all aboard, all aboard to Harold noticed there was something on the tracks ahead. Harold explained to the cow that it wasn't safe to stand on train tracks. see that the train tracks ended at the edge of a cliff. A very steep cliff. Being in charge of the train meant it was up to him to keep his passengers safe. driving a train would be so much responsibility. Harold thought it would be easier to do what the other grown-ups were doing. Harold had always wanted to work in the city, like his father. In a big office building. A really big office building. sure this job would be much more fun. Because everything was as easy as pushing a button.
my computer, office and staff I might just have the last laugh Wait, Mr. Orwell, you're late I have a previous day I'll dictate a letter, tell them who's boss Give them a profit and loss Break through executive ranks so let's make a deal and say thanks But you mustn't go play with the buttons that say Please delete me and have a nice day Leave the man and the machine and the calls you must screen It is all work and really no play Have a nice day Gotta run have a nice day. What a crunch have a nice day. Let's do lunch office was a much bigger job than Harold had ever realized. And anyway, Harold didn't want to be stuck behind a desk. Harold wanted to travel to outer space. Fortunately, so did his crayon. There was nothing stopping Harold from going as far as he wanted to go. starting to feel warm, very warm. He was falling towards the sun. The sun was round like a balloon which gave Harold an idea. Tra 
Traveling through space hadn't been as easy as Harold expected. Harold was ready to get back down to Earth. As Harold neared the Earth, he noticed something curious down below. Harold's ship was falling fast. wondered what it would be like to be a real baseball player. And now he was grown up enough to find out. Play ball! against him. He couldn't let his team down. And he couldn't let his fans down. base. Then to second. But it looked as if he'd never make it to third. Baseball star had been more responsibility than he'd expected. Harold had had enough of being a grown up. Now it was quiet downstairs. And the clock looked the same as it had before Harold left. Harold knew this meant he was little again. It had been exciting being all grown up, but it had also been a lot of work. Harold decided he could wait a little longer to be an adult, even if it meant having to go to bed early. So Harold closed his eyes. And as he drifted off to sleep, his purple crayon fell to the floor.